on the life of jeremy bear shirt make sure you go to mybeargang.com get your merch baby support the movement if you can i greatly appreciate it baby and then let's go ahead and take a look at the pants here let's move the pack a little logo there let's take a look at the pants baby those are jogger pants looking mighty ferocious as always and look at the shoes baby shout out to my lady make sure y'all go follow her on the ig at mom dash in get the bloody cat on the feet so it's only right that we start this video off with the bloody cat, baby. Let's go and get that cold start for you. Bloody cat. Gang, you see we dropped the bloody cat off. About to get that young cleaning done to it. Bloody cat about to get a young cleaning, baby. You know, we only do hand washes, so. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Mexican McLovin, coming through and picking me up because uh, you know I ain't about to sit here and wait for this. I'll let them do their thing and then I'll be back. All right, gang, we are back. Officially picked up the bloody cat from being clean. You see, I got my junior with me, JJ. And uh, look at the bloody cat, baby. It's all clean. It is all clean. Look at that. Shoo. Ain't nothing like a fresh clean bath on a bloody cat, baby. Nothing like a fresh clean bath. But we'll get right to it. Alright, gang. So as you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, it's a little different. This video is more geared towards fathers out there that have a son, a daughter, whatever you have, you raising kids, you know. Raising kids isn't the easiest thing. We all know that. And, uh, you know, my junior, he is my first son. That's why he's a junior. When you go to raising kids, it's, you know, you got trials and tribulations. So everything's not always going to be perfect. Situations aren't always going to be the way I like it. And it ain't going to be the way my son likes it. So with that being said, we had a scenario that happened with my son. I'm going to let him do more to explain it because I want it to come from his point of view. So that way, if there's kids that watch me that are 14, 15 years old, you know, around my son's age, he's 13, he'll be 14 here pretty soon. But if there's anybody out there watching that can help, you know, you being a parent to your son, help you go through situations like this because it's not easy. And like I said, I'm gonna kind of explain my side first and then I'll let my son explain his part because he he has more of an understanding of everything because he is the one who went through the situation more. I'm just the one that was trying to fix it. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go from a parent's point of view as me being his dad, his father. And uh, you know, we went through things where, you know, he didn't like the rules that I set. You know, sometimes he feels he wants more freedom. Sometimes he feels he wants, there's things that he wants that he doesn't feel he gets sometimes, you know, but I'm a dad that goes off of, my kids know how I am, I go off of rules. You follow the rules, you do what you're supposed to do in school. I only ask two things of my kids. Get good grades in school and follow the rules. Do what you're supposed to do. As long as you do those things, life is pretty easy in my household. But sometimes that can be difficult because me being a kid that I used to be a kid, you know, you know these things and you know what you go through and you know what a kid his age is going through. You know, you want to be rebellious. You don't really want to do everything. You, you'll do it. But you only do it to your portion. You don't do it to the way your parents really want it done. So with that being said, 
we've had issues with me and my son we, you know I would say that me and my son have a pretty good relationship I always preach to my kids communication is key we got to communicate we got to understand one another I can't understand what he's feeling if he don't explain to me I can only assume so with that being said we went through the situation my son wasn't wasn't happy you know he was feeling a certain type of way you know he felt like I was putting a lot of pressure on him but at the same time I didn't know these things so as we're going through these things he was losing privileges he was losing his game he was losing being able to do things go out with his friends he was losing a lot of privileges that he wanted to do because he wasn't fulfilling his end of the bargain on doing what he was supposed to do so he was in order for him to gain them back, he has to do what he's supposed to do and I have to see it consistently to be like, okay, son, here, I'll give you your game back and we do these things. So for instance, uh, we have chores. All my kids have chores, they do chores. The only one that don't do a chore is Logan. Obviously he's too young, but from Jordan to Amari to JJ, they all do chores. JJ's chore at this time was kitchen. He does the kitchen. Well, you know, I we don't eat out of dirty dishes. I don't know anybody. You guys can explain down and below in the comments if you tell your kids to clean dishes or you clean dishes and you clean them and you leave them dirty, All right? And you see my son kind of smirked a little bit because he knows the dishes was dirty. He put dirty dishes in there. He cleaned them, but they're partially clean. So it's like the spots that you really cook from is clean. But then you look around and it's just crud, there's dirt still on the, you know, old food on it. So we'd, I'd have a talk with him, we'd figure it out and hey, look, this has got to be done better, you know. Now the way I was raised is, if I didn't clean dishes properly, my dad would pull every, I mean, when I say every, I mean every single dish out of the rack, out of the cupboard, out of anywhere dishes were stored, he'd pull them out. They'd be all over the counter. No matter what time of day it is, you're getting up and you're doing all the dishes. Now, for any kid out there, if you're gonna go through that, I guarantee you my thing was, is I'm gonna make sure them dishes are clean now because I don't want to do all these no more. So, I haven't done that to my son, but I've had, I have told him that I will do that. I give him a lot of breaks because I don't want to put him in that situation because it's, it sucks. But you just got to let your kids know that you got to do what you're supposed to do. It takes a long way in life when they get older. They just don't understand right now because obviously they're kids. So we had things where he was doing dishes, dishes was dirty and you know, so obviously he don't get his privileges back. He don't get his game. He don't get the stuff he likes to do. He don't get it back. So we went through this. And then another thing about my son is he's a very smart kid, very smart. One thing I give him, he is so, he's very intelligent, he's smart. A lot smarter than I was growing up. Uh, hence to, you know, I gave him the opportunity to make the merch for us. And if you want to go get your merch, you can go to mybeargang.com. You see it on the pants. You see my son wearing his shirt and he's got the shorts on. There you go. You know, and that's all, that's, he created all this, you know. All the new merch you guys see on the website, you see it on the screen. It's also in the description below of every single video. So, a big shout out to my son because he's very smart and he's very artistic. There's nothing short of saying that he's not a good child. He's a very good child. Do every child make mistakes? Yes. You know what I mean? That's part of being a kid. You learn and you grow through these things and you become better because your parents help raise you to be better. We was going through situations and my son was doing these things and you know, I know he's brighter than this and I didn't want to have him keep going through these things. So. From this point, I'll let my son explain kind of like what happened. And like I said, this video is not a video to bash my son. This is not a video to tell my son he is not a good child because he's a very good child. This is just a learning lesson that is for me because I'm his father and I'm learning things on how to help him. And this is a learning lesson for my son on what he needs to do as far as communication and being able to explain himself and do things like this. So I'll let him explain more of like kind of what happened and he can explain from a point of view, from his point of view and then explain it, what he learned from it and how this all came along and where we are now. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Well, just kind of tell him what, what, you, what, what, what was the problems? What were you dealing with in the beginning? What caused everything to happen? Uh, I ran away from home for like two days, almost. 
almost two days. No, three. It's three? What, you left, yeah, you left what? It was like Saturday. A day and Came a home Monday. It was like a day and a night. Well, he, here's the thing. He ran away. He slept on the roof of our house. So it wasn't, he considers it that he didn't run away. He was still gone. Nobody knew where he was. So my lady had to file a missing child report because obviously she's pregnant. She don't have the ability to go chase after him and do all this stuff. So at this time when all this stuff arise, I was out of town. So I wasn't here. So I wasn't able to deal with none of this at the time. So when I came back Monday, when I was the one who went out and I went and go found him and we found him and I brought him back home. When he came back home, kind of how you was feeling, what caused you to leave the house? Um, it, it all started when I had my friend spend the night and then we went to Miguel's side of the room to play on his game and because there was no room in my room to sleep and we all didn't want to sleep in the same bed because that's weird. But um, we went in there and we were being very loud and I didn't know and we were cursing and Melissa came in and we got in trouble and then she made them go home at one o'clock in the morning so I was upset about that and then um that night we were arguing about them going home and then she called me a very rude name and that aggravated me and then the next day See now, most people my age are younger, you know, are older. Know that if a parent, your parent, or any parent that you had kick you out from that house, you weren't coming back to that house the same the next day and hanging out. That just wasn't. It was just a rule. You already knew that. And then me and Melissa argued about why I wasn't allowed to go over there. I already knew why they couldn't come over, but it wasn't really their fault why we were allowed. It was really my responsibility right. because they were my guests and I should have been like, tone it down. And I was being loud too. I can't deny that. But yeah, I was being loud. We were having fun. But um, we argued about that for a minute and then we were both yelling at each other and then my sister got into the conversation. I said, if you say another word to me, I'm gonna leave. And then my sister's like, Ian, you're so ugly. And I just left. And then I went outside, and then Melissa came after me, and she was like, if you take one more step, I'm calling the police. So I ran. And then she got in the car, and then we went to like,
better way of being upset instead of just saying, hey, I'm gonna storm out, take off and run away from the house. I'm gonna find other ways on how I can deal with it instead of going to those extremes. What's, an what's another thing you say you learned? I learned how to communicate better. So expressing yes. how you feel. So those, those are some of the things, you know, he learned from from the situation and, you know, to make him not have to go through the situation. Would you rather be at home or you'd rather be there? At home. All right. So your whole point of not fighting somebody and not doing any of this is because you want to get out of there because you want to go what? You want to come back home, right? So he's, he, I would say he's being more understanding of what he has and being taking what he has not for granted because... Not every kid has what my son has, and not every kid has the life my son has. Does people? Is there kids out there that have life better than him? Yeah, of course. Is there kids out there that have worse life than him? Yes, he's witnessed that. He's seen both sides of it because there's kids in there that don't have parents around. There's kids in there that's raised by grandparents. You know, before I got interrupted by a dead battery, like I was saying, there's kids in there that was dealing with drug issues. You know, he's seen all kinds of stories. He told me about what was going on in there. But from my son's point of view is, you know, he's not dealing with those same circumstances that other people are dealing with. You know, is his situation the worst? No, but is his situation his? Yes. So pretty much our, 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 our whole point of this video is to just kind of say that like, he's learning how to use coping mechanisms. He's learning how to deal with, you know, Obviously, you know, he's older, he's 13, 14, he's puberty, you know, all this stuff starts hitting and, you know, sometimes it's hard to try to figure out how to deal with this, how to deal with my parents, how to deal with rules, you know, because you start feeling yourself, you start feeling like you get a little older, you feel like you could be the man and, you know, you got to understand that your parents are here to help you and your parents are here to prevent you from making mistakes that your parents make. So my son went through this whole situation and he came back and, and I, one thing I could say from him since he came back is um, his demeanor, his uh, his whole mindset, the way he is now is like the son I had before he started feeling the way he was feeling. When that happened, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I could tell when it just started changing. But now that it, it has got this way, it's a whole lot better than what it used to be. So the learning point to this for a kid his age is just to know that when you're going through situations be open and communicate to your parents what you're feeling because if your parents don't know what you're feeling there's no way to help you a parent is going to set rules and set standards for their kids because they want their kids to be successful i don't want my son having a kid at 16 years old i don't want my son doing the mistakes i made at 16 years old i don't want him going through those problems how would you say our relationship is now since you've been back home it's a lot better right I mean, we've been communicating, we've been getting along, we've been talking about things. When he's going through situations, you know, we can just talk now. It's, it's, it's a lot better, you know what I mean? Are we gonna bump heads still? We probably will. But the thing is, is like, communication, we can, we can build that now. We can learn from one another. For instance, he was supposed to go with his mother for Thanksgiving. I held him back from going with his mother and this is one big thing that made me understand that my son has made some changes and he's learning. It's because I told him, I said, hey son, like, I don't want to hold you back from your mom because I know that's your mom's time for her to be with you and you to be with her. But given the circumstances of what we just dealt with and it was probably like two, three days since he'd been back home, I was like, I don't think this is a good situation for you to go right after you got out to go right back there, you know what I mean? Because I, I, you can explain how, what's the difference? What would you say the difference is from the two households that you live in? Not not explaining everything, just kind of what 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 more do you have there that you can do? Why 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 would it be not be a good decision for you? What would what would be your reason? Because when when we're there, our mom lets us do more stuff that we want to because we're not with her. Pretty much is what he's saying. There's more freedom, more freedom than what he has here to be able if something happened, you know, to kind of get away with. We all learn from this. This is a learning experience for me. 
it's a learning experience for my son and this video is pretty much just to help you know kids that are his age going through this maybe going through similar situations and you feel like you want to run away you want to do all this stuff and you can't deal with your parents rules just know that the rules are there to help you they're not there to penalize you they're not there to make your life horrible because nobody wants a horrible life. I don't want one, I don't want one for my kids. So just know what the rules are there for. And for parents, my main point to this video is to explain that like, you know, there's times where, you know, I thought about just letting my son go back because I know an easier route for him is I could just let him go back. I don't have to deal with these problems. She could deal with them. But that's me giving up on my son and I don't feel like I should give up on him because my whole goal is to help him. I want him to prevent him to not go through what I went through. So with that being said, my son is a very good son. He's doing really well now. You can tell him what you would. What else, what's, what all positive has happened for you since you came back home? Got my game. Got his game back. He went, to, he's, he started a new school since yeah, then. I, I, school. I pulled him out of that school mainly because it was for me. The reason why I pulled him out is because I need him to be around a better cast of people and I feel like the kids that are around that school which is the ones he was running away and hanging out with go to that school and it's just not a good look for him he needed a better start fresh start so now he got a fresh start he's at a new school what else happened for you I made the basketball team he made the basketball team y'all y'all if y'all watch if y'all follow me on IG make sure you go follow me on IG but if you follow me on IG you've seen the picture that I put up with me and my son when he was at his practice. You know, I'm a very involved father with my kids and my son's doing a really good job. You know, he's he made the team, he's doing really good. So I told him we got to start practicing. I had to start swatting a couple of his shots. You know, I'm not a hooper. <laughs> I'm not a hooper, but you know, I can, I can play a little bit of basketball. So I got practice with my son, teach him a little bit. And I didn't even, tryouts were before I came to the school, like a couple weeks before. They requested me to try out. It's all keeping that positivity in your head. That's why I always tell all the people that follow me, you got to stay positive through the roughest situations because if you stay positive and you find the positive in things, you never know what's going to come your way. And I mean, look at this. this. This whole situation, him making a team, he tried out for the team before he didn't make the team at his old school. And given the fact that maybe it was more kids, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, when you start getting up in that age, favoritism, all this kind of stuff, if you know the coaches, all that, but nonetheless, just the whole point to this story is that, like, he went through it, he didn't make the team. He's got a new start, he makes the team. You know, it's all stuff that, like, it's all changing for the better for him. You know, he's just making better decisions for himself. He's doing a lot better. And this is only the beginning of it, you know, it ain't been that long. It's been a couple, maybe two weeks now. But, you know, it's a lot of positive things going on for him, and it's a lot better for him. I think that me and his relationship has grown a lot better. We've always kind of had a good relationship. This is probably my my little ace boom coon right here. You know what I mean? We have we're we're really good close together, but you know we bump heads a lot because obviously you know he's getting older. You know you get to that age, you start feeling yourself. And, you know, daddy got to come by and got humble you a little bit. You know, but. Nonetheless, I love my son. He's a good son, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better son than what I have right here. Pretty much our point to this story is just that if you're going through some things as a kid, as a, a, a parent, just know don't ever give up on your kid. And a uh, kid, what would you tell a kid? Don't do anything stupid. Well, you want to look at them and tell them? Don't do anything stupid. Because that's really the main thing. Like, if you get yelled at or you get told something, off in your room, be mad, cry, whatever you want to do, just like, don't do something that's going to harm somebody or yourself. So just listen, right? Listen, just do what you got to do. If you got rules set aside, just follow them. You know, if it, if it sucks to follow them, then follow them, but express yourself to your parent. Tell your parent what you're feeling, because your parent only knows what they know. They don't, like I always tell my kids, I'm not a mind reader. I can't read their minds. If they don't tell me something, I'm just assuming. But if they tell me something, I know how they feel, then we can work things out and we can make it better for him and I can make it better for myself. So with that being said, anything else you want to tell them, son? Where to go get the merch at? MyBearGame.com, baby. That's right. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next video, baby. Gang, gang, gang.